The following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. Metal Quaddle Entertainment presents Quinden's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 129, Magical Creature 151. Animation Land. As you can see, Shotaro is just in my script for Chapter 26 of Humans of Sentai Go Ranger back to me, along with his illustrations. Well, it's time to catch the mythical Mew. I think I'll need to fly to Putra City and then go through Mount Mood in order to find it. Alright, let's go! Ah, Putra City. It's been a while since I've been here. Anyway, Mount Moon is just out east. Shouldn't be very far from here. Hey, Quentin. Gordon, Susan, what brings you here? Well, we decided to walk through the Museum of Science to see what exhibits they have. Oh wow, I heard they have a moon zone. did you see that? We sure did, and it was just beautiful! Well, I was just about to take a hike through Mount Moon. Oh wow, getting a little exercise, huh? Well, it's not just that. I got to talk to Miyako yesterday and found out that there actually is a Mew flying toward Miyako's hometown, Cerulean City. Wow, well catching it could be hard, so good luck! Alright, take care. Alright, to Mount Moon! Wow, I managed to make it all the way through the cave in only a few minutes. I didn't expect that. Whoa, a flying pink cat. Okay, due to Miyako's vision of it when I hypnotized her yesterday, this has to be Mew. Huh, it's only level 7, so maybe it'll be easy. Oh well, let's find out. TRANSFORMATION! Alright, it's time to catch the 151st magical creature, Nightshade! Oh my god, Mew just surrounded itself in a pink bubble, probably to protect itself. I can tell Mew is no ordinary magical creature, and furthermore, it knows all the technical techniques and hidden techniques. Guess you could say Mew is the magical creature equivalent of my dad. Anyway, let's try something else. Hey, Bowser. I'm just... Oh my god! Is that Mew? Oh, you just noticed, eh? You've discovered Mew. It's been long thought to be extinct, but you actually found one! To think that I would get to see a Mew with my own eyes. Well, I'm trying to catch it so you can gather data on it, but this is harder than it looks. Well, my magical creature encyclopedia has already been released to the public, but I guess I could include Mew in the first update. Alright, I can see Mew's pink bubble awakening. I think I've got an idea to capture it. Oh wow, you're making Mew too dizzy to fight. Nightshade! Wow, I didn't think ghost-type techniques would easily take down a psychotype magical creature. Well, after I finished training under you, I've been learning everything known about a power buff and their fighting style. Now let's do this! Ultra Ball! You did it! You discovered and caught the 151st magical creature! Alright, this will only take a few seconds. Okay, done! Now, I can release an update to my Magical Creature Encyclopedia. Just so you know, you don't have to buy another copy to get the update. It'll just notice you on a copy that you have, and you can update it in no time. Wow, well I can hardly wait to see your Magical Creature Encyclopedia. Take care! Quentin, long time no see! Commander Itogawa? Hi, I just wanted to inform you that all of us in Eagle will be departing back to Japan tomorrow night. So we're throwing a farewell party for a few hours before we have to leave. We've invited you and your friends! Okay, I'll be sure to tell the Kotokujis in the main six about this. Sounds like a plan. See you tomorrow night! Okay, I gotta call Miyako right now, so hold on for just a moment. Hello? Quentin! Hi, Miyako. I just received a message from Commander Itogawa. He's throwing a farewell party for himself and everyone else at Eagle tomorrow night. Once the party's over, they'll depart back to Japan. Itogawa orally invited me and has invited you, your sisters, and the main six as well. You wanna come? Bye-bye! 
Well, the 150 magical creatures known to exist have been joined by Mew, bringing the total to 151. Oh, I just realized, I have yet to face Queen Metallia. I'll need help in the Gota Kluti's May 6th and Sail Ascension in order to annihilate her, but I'm sure we'll pull it off with all our effort. Anyway, prepare yourself for the final battle with Queen Metallia, okay? Alright, see you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is NET, the public television network.